Hey guys, so let's do a small tutorial on how you can use two great features on the Sony Alpha 6500. The first one is a digital zoom and the second one is a clear zoom. So basically I just reversed it. The first one is a clear zoom and the second one is the digital zoom. Okay, so let's do that today and see if it is really beneficial or not. So to do that, you basically need a Sony Alpha 6500 camera body. So I have it already. So just turn it on and select the movie mode or put the camera in the movie mode if it's in auto mode. And once you're there, just click the menu button and go to the second page that is the movie settings. And on the movie settings, you must navigate to the fifth page where the setting is actually available. So here we go. We are here and this is the setting page that you must use. So right now it's only at the optical zoom. You can select on clear image zoom or the digital zoom. So let's do the clear image zoom. I have a Sony Alpha 6500 with the lens 18 to 105 mm. So you may see that the zoom will be much smoother compared to a normal zoom. So we are using the power zoom options right now. So this is 105 mm only. So that's that's a peak stage that this lens can go without this digital zoom options. And beyond that, now as we have enabled the clear image zoom option, it can go two times ahead than the normal optical zoom. So it's kind of a digital zoom again, but I don't think in this mode you will see any loss of clarity. Okay guys, so now let's turn on the digital zoom option wherein it goes up to four times into zoom mode. So here we go, I've enabled it and now we are actually zooming in. So the previous one just had the two times zoom, but now it goes up to four times. So that's a good advantage, but again, you may have to compromise your cl clarity of the image or the video using this. So now as we are done indoors, let's go outdoors and do some photos and as well as some video samples in 4K resolution and then see if it is really a good option that you can use in your production work. So guys, right now I'm in my patio with the Sony Alpha 6500 with the Sony 18 to 105 mm power zoom option lens. So we are now slightly moving in into the object with the clear image zoom option enabled. So I'll just stop for a few seconds on the 105mm and post which I'll zoom in into the two times zoom factor. So we here we are at the 105mm. So we will go into the picture now. So that's a clear zoom option. So the next seconds the video will be with the four times zoom factor of the digital zoom option. So here we go, that is the effect right now. So we're actually much zoomed in, but with the photo mode, I don't think it is very good, but in video, I feel like it is really worth to be used. So let's now take a few of the photo samples. So I've taken this at the 105mm, but that is the optical zoom only, and the picture is very sharp and clean. The next one is at the one time zoom factor, which I've enabled on the clear image option and the image is also very good here. Now, after we go into the two times zoom factor, here's where the image, you know, loses its quality and at the four time zoom factor, the image actually sucks. There's no clarity at all. And the image resolution or the size itself get reduced. So that's a clear indication that the quality of the image is not as good as the optical zoom so here's my conclusion if you are just wanted to use this in the video mode this is perfectly very good but if in case you're planning to use it for photography then definitely not i don't recommend you to use this option for photography work so with that i would just like to end this video guys i hope you have liked this video and I feel that using this option in the video work is really worth but not in the photography work. But if you're just looking for some small print photographs then definitely you can use this option. And with that I'll say bye bye for now.